Hey YouTube, this is Joe with Youngblood Family Farm. I have a broken chainsaw and I'm hoping to fix it in five minutes or less. So let's get to work, okay? So I'll show you what I'm working on here. We are working on my old MS290. And this has a broken chain brake. So you can see as that's engaged, the clutch is still turning. So what we need to do is we need to pull this cover off. Uh, I very much like to talk, but I'm trying to make this an efficient video. To a preface all this work, I blew it all down so it, it's pretty clean. So, so let me set you guys up and let's get to it. This has two screws here. And I'm guessing that all this mechanism is underneath those two screws. So let's let's pull this off. Looks like I got a little tab here. Set that to the side. Let me prop you guys up. Chainsaw is a little further away from me than I'd like, but you can see it. Now with a uh, little bit of time on my hands, I've been trying to do my summer wood cutting now. instead of during the summer because I got the feeling that I either will be teaching during the summer or I will have to do a lot of food growing this summer. So there is the mechanism and I was expecting to see a spring broken and it doesn't look like there's a spring broken but what you can see way down in this bottom corner there you can see my band is broken. So, let's prop this up, and let's see what it takes to pull that band off. It looks to me like I could pull that off. Pull that down so you guys can see. There is half that break. And there is the other half of the brake. Pull it down again so you can see. And that just flips out of there. So, that's the brake. What we have here is this is a part saw that I have. I'm a big advocate of having parts. This is probably a $10 part, but with the current situation where we're not supposed to go any place, I'm really glad I have the part. So, what we're going to do is we are going to pull this one off. There it is. That is the band break if you will. Let's wipe it down. Now we are going to install it into the old steel. Make sure I stay with you so you can actually see what is happening here. There we go. That'll help. That'll help out a lot. Pretty tough to do a job one-handed, holding the camera. Probably need to get a better tripod, but someday. So there we go. So that is installed. I flip that forward, and now the brake works. Let me set you guys back down here. Clutch spins, I engage it, it locks out. 
I need to put this cover back on, put my little bumper back on, and then assemble. And that, my friends, is pretty simple. All I needed was a Torx head screwdriver and a little flat head to pull that piece out. Um, five minutes, and eh, maybe not. Uh, it took a couple minutes to blow that thing out. I'm a big advocate of having extras. <laughs> Uh, I try not to have too much extra on hand, but a friend of mine gave me this old chainsaw. It was really nice to not have to order that part and wait a couple of days or a week or have to go out to get it. Um, chainsaw broke yesterday. I was able to put it on today. Um, and so, yeah, so that was it. Uh, pretty simple. This is a job that a mechanic does not need to do. I'm not a mechanic. I have a few tools and I like to use my chainsaw. So, uh, how did I know it broke? Uh, as I'm walking through brush, stepping over the log, I like to set the kickback brake. Uh, just so if I fall, if I goose the chainsaw a little bit, it doesn't start spinning, so I will set it as I'm walking around. Um, and I noticed it was continuing to spin, and it was an easy fix, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm gonna put it together, sharpen the chain, and get ready to cut tomorrow. So, five minutes, no, but pretty quick fix. So, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, bye.